Are you ready? Are you ready for the Monday Mystery Game? Hey everybody, this is Doc Mack from the Galloping Ghost Arcade out in Brookfield, Illinois. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020, and we are here with yet another Monday mystery game, this time number 764 going on the arcade floor. Huge shout outs to Tim Kitzrow, was just chatting with him not too long ago, who does our intro for the Monday mystery game. Tim Kitzrow, the voice of NBA Jam and Blitz and uh, the does all the shout outs on the new Elvira game for Stern. So awesome. So that's him who does our intro. Are you ready for the Monday mystery game? Um, so last week, number 763, uh, our 763rd game that we put out on the arcade floor was Sexy Parodius, put out by Konami back in 1996. It was a blowout. GGA Jeremiah Smith taking the win again. Uh, some huge thanks to him for uh, coming in and uh, putting, showing everybody uh, sexy Parodius, a lot of fun on the game. He played through as every ship just so he could get an idea. Get it, it was great seeing him get further every time. I think he he was back down here playing um, a little bit the other day. We did a live stream on Facebook Live. Was showing off some <laughs> sexy Parodius, which great game, very very cool, a lot of fun. So huge shout out to GGA Jeremiah. Don't see him yet here. He is not here yet today. Hopefully he makes it on down so we can uh, do some streaming of what un whatever lies beneath the massive tarp today. Um, he's swinging along. Uh, he is catching up to everybody. The 10X standings as they are right now. Jimbo Slice in first place with 21 big points. Then there's a second place tie between former Game of the Year Jamie Tibbetts and our very own Maurice Smith, both with 18 points. GGA Jeremiah is right behind him with 15 big points. He could, if, if, if he shows up today, who knows, if he might not even show up. If he shows up, and if he managed to put the high score on this, he'd get three more points. He'd be in a three-way tie with Maurice and Jamie Tibbetts. But we will, we will see what, what happens? Hopefully, Pete, you might want to text GGA Jeremiah and make sure he's coming so we uh, sh are able to show some gameplay here. Um, for everybody that has been joining in every day, we've been doing live streams since uh, we were not able to be open to the public uh, during all this crazy time. Um, we have been using that time wisely, going through the arcade, play testing. Every single machine, every machine has been play tested. So we have this giant list of all the repairs and fixes. A lot of them minor. Sometimes it's, um, oh, we have to fix this T-molding and this marquee, or we have to turn up the volume. There's uh, anything more egregious like, um, oh, like um, the, uh, the monitor is missing a color, or this button doesn't work, or this joystick doesn't work. We've been tearing through this list. The arcade is in, I don't think, I wouldn't say the arcade was in bad shape before all this happened, but now it is in, it's getting to be in phenomenal shape. Levels that when you're open seven days a week, when you have a Saturday where between 600 people show up and 900 people show up, our busiest day ever being 925 people. It's a lot of people, a lot of wear and tear on the machines. And there's 763, soon to be 764 machines. There's a lot of maintenance. It's a lot of stuff to tend to. So definitely using this time very wisely to make sure everything is going to be amazing by the time you get back in. We've been doing our daily walk around streams, um, showing off a lot of cabinets and uh, keeping everybody in, informed on the repairs and uh, just what's going on here at the arcade. So many people tuning in. We appreciate that so much. It's a lot of fun. Uh, definitely let us know um, what you want to see. We've, we've got some repair stuff coming up. We were down at Galpingo's Pinball the other day. Uh, we've got... Um, so just let us know what you want to see. A lot of tech stuff coming up. A lot of, uh, again, we'll, we'll always continue to talk about the repairs and showing cabinets and stuff. So 
Um, we are having a lot of fun doing it. I hope it's uh, at least something. This is tough times for everybody, and I know everybody's bored. They can't come out to the arcade, but we're here for you. As are a lot of the other arcades. I've seen uh, Jeremy Fox of Prince Arcades doing streams and uh, the arcade doing streams and Geeks Mania doing streams. So awesome that even though we can't allow people in, in the actual arcade, that uh, we're able to connect and try to do whatever we can for you. So appreciate every stream has just had such an amazing uh, response to it, and it's a lot of fun. We're going to keep doing them. Usually those happen around 5 p.m. Uh, Central Time. We've uh, seen Pete Hahn do live uh, gameplay. He once he seed the Ninja Kids from Taito. We've seen Danielle play some Flicky, released from Sega. GGA Jeremiah was here uh, not too long ago. He did a live stream on Smash TV and uh, Sexy Parodius and Primal Rage 2. He played all the way through Primal Rage 2. So awesome. We've been getting so many legends of the industry in our stream chat, we've had uh, Jeff Nauman, creator and programmer on so many great games like Rampage. And um, Chris Tang has joined us, who uh, was the final actor, the legend, one of the legends of Mortal Kombat, the last actor to film in Mortal Kombat. Uh, or wait, am I, I'm skipping around. Chris Tang, who created Primal Rage uh, and... Chris Alexander, who played Johnny Cage in MK Trilogy. Rich DeVizio, who played Kano, Baraka, Cabal, and Quan Chi in, in Mortal Kombat. So just absolutely awesome. So much fun talking to everybody in the stream chats. We will definitely keep doing those. And we cannot wait for the doors to open back up and have everybody back in and get everybody playing all these crazy rare arcade games. I'm, hopefully it's soon, but it should definitely be by August. We've got our huge events coming up in August. We hope everybody's able to make it out. August 7th, 8th, and 9th is going to be our T20 tournament. Uh, we usually do a tournament in 20 games. Last, year, last time we put up 14 new games for that tournament. So there was six games off the arcade floor and 14 brand new games that nobody had ever played before. So we get players that travel in from all over the U.S. and out of the country and it's an amazing weekend. So that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, August 7th, 8th, and 9th. August 10th is our 10-year anniversary of the arcade Monday Mystery Game. And we are pulling out all the stops. If you are ever just not going to miss a Monday Mystery, that is the one for you to not miss. That is going to be something, something awesome. And we are so excited for it. Do not miss that Monday mystery game, uh, August 10th. Then on the 13th, that is our actual anniversary. Back in August 13th, Friday the 13th of 2010, we opened the arcade. This is going to be our big 10-year anniversary. Super excited for it. We coronate the new gamer of the year. Always a lot of fun. Usually a lot of industry people come out, and usually uh, all the gamers of the year. So you got some amazing players coming out for that. So don't miss that. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one because here we've had a month worth of time where we're not able to watch what everybody's doing. So this will be a good one, though. It'll be interesting. Then on the, that's on the 13th. Then on the 15th, we're having a massive bash here at the arcade. You can expect some surprises. You can expect a lot of industry play people being here. You can expect a lot of amazing players being here. We're running an event for the most people playing arcade games at one time. Uh, plus, we're going to be doing a lot of world record runs and high score runs and 1cc runs. It is going to be awesome. So if you can be out here that week of August, 7th, 8th, and 9th, the 10th, the 13th, and the 15th, do it. It is going to be crazy. You will not want to miss it. And we are so excited for it. And as we had said, even before all this stuff had, had happened, we're not... We're not slowing down and coasting in the 10-year anniversary. We're going to continue to put up crazy stuff that everybody has been asking for. We're going to have the arcade playing better than it's ever played before. It, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Going into the 10-year anniversary, I'm liking how it's looking. So hopefully everybody comes out and joins us. And same thing, as soon as all the madness settles down, hope to see everybody back here at the arcade. But now, 
I think. Well, I got to hold on because there's a phone call coming in. I wonder who's calling. <laughs> well, we have GG Jeremiah has shown up. So we will be showing some gameplay of whatever lies beneath the tarp. I want to thank everybody again. The community support to this place has just been astonishing. Uh, it is so amazing talking with everybody in the live streams and just on a day-to-day -day basis when just walking around the arcade, seeing everybody happy, playing arcade games. We know it's tough that um, you guys haven't been able to get in. We've heard everybody saying they can't wait for it. We are so excited as well. It'll be, it, it's not the same. It's not the same without everybody here enjoying it. Like all the machines can be on and it's loud and it's crazy, but it's different. And uh, we just cannot wait to have everybody back here. So I guess without any further ado, it is time to summon forth former gamer of the year to help. There it is. I love seeing that. Goofy BK, Dr. Cool Milk, Pearl Krell, Steamed Ed, Maurice, Bubble Blasto, Steps. Oh, it's going to be good. Daz showing up. Tim C. Richter, thank you for being here. Pete. How? I don't even. What do you say? What do you say? How? Imagine. Pete, can you imagine if the weekend happened? Yes. There you go. That's a good one. The imagination running wild. Well, no more speculation. No more what could it be. Hold on one second. I got to do something over here. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm going to rip some cords out. Your Monday mystery game, number 764. What lies beneath the monstrous tarp that's been teasing and taunting and waiting to be unveiled? Your Monday mystery game is none other than Savage Quest, released from Interactive Light back in 1990, 98, 98, I almost said six. Blonde Bunny, what the hell, I've never heard of this. Dude, awesome, Jets, uh, yes, this, no, many might not know what this is. But that's my, my job is to find you awesome games. And, oh, you got an awesome game here. Hater Shack knows it. It is Savage Quest, released from Interactive Light. We've had a few try to recommend this over the years. There is, it's not on MAME, so if you're a MAME player, you don't know this one. You've never seen it. It is outrageously rare. DJ Tatsujin saying, you actually got it. He knows it. He knows it. Yeah, this, <laughs> so Savage Quest, you play as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, I think you're killing Velociraptors. You're eating some Velociraptors. Maybe you're an Allosaurus. Maybe you're a Tyrannosaurus. But you're a giant dinosaur tearing up other giant dinosaurs. Someone named Aaron. Hello from Berwyn. Hello. Your Monday mystery game, Savage Quest in an original dedicated cabinet. Everything is saying it's a T-Rex, but it, eh, maybe it's a T-Rex. Let's have GGA Jeremiah jump on in. So... The sound is on. The sound is on. What an amazing, unique game. There is nothing like this game. Zeke saying you're an unspecified Saurus. I'll go with that. So you have a joystick similar to that in Star Wars Trilogy. Oh, let me... I don't even know where to begin on this. This cabinet, first off, is beautiful. Huge thanks to Jeremy Fox of Prince Arcades. Uh, we don't, uh, we sent him out to go pick this up and um, <clears throat> he brought it back. He'd never heard of it either. We had heard of it. 
super rare. I've heard anything. There might have been 50 of these made, maybe. I've heard some conflicting numbers, but extremely, extremely low numbers. It is on proprietary PC hardware. There's a very proprietary I.O. board. The sound in this game is unbelievable. I cannot wait to post pictures of this cabinet. The artwork is just awesome. The gameplay is awesome. You're this, you're this dinosaur. And this dude comes and takes your eggs. Sends some raptors to come get your eggs. Oh, what a guy. And they go running off with it. Just as you're waking up, he's like, what? And then a pterodactyl flies off with him. He's, he's getting out of there. You look angry. Here we go. So, the controls on it. You have a roar button that kind of stuns enemies. If you bite enemies multiple times, a bite might kill them, but you don't necessarily eat them. You have to bite them again to eat them. If your food level on the right goes down, you'll start taking health loss. If you hold the button on top, you will run. Or maybe it's the trigger that you hold. I forget. It is the top button. You'll run. Uh, if your health goes out, you're dead, of course. You have a limited number of roars to stun enemies. That's a lot. You can rotate the joystick 360 to do a tail swipe. There you go. They got up from the roar, and now you've got to deal with all of them. Two hands on the trigger? Oh, come on. There is somebody else that has one of these cabinets. And he has put up some... There's a, an unverified world record for it. There are none out there. there. This game is so super rare. Unfortunately, we aren't able to get direct feed on the audio. But we'll get that fixed. Oh, he's biting him by the tail. Oh, he, he, he ate him. He, defeat all the enemies. That guy got knocked down, but he's not dead. He's, he's faking it. They take damage. This game is a bit gory. Uh-oh, there's some people. Oh, no, those aren't people. You ate people already? Oh, you're eating that little guy. He's on the move. Uh-oh. You might want to run after that guy. There he goes. Oh, all those cavemen throwing spears at you. Here he comes. Watch out. Oh! T-boned him. Uh oh now he's dealing with people throwing spears and... I didn't see the name of the dinosaur. I used to be so good at knowing dinosaur names. So this dinosaur, he's got that heavily armored cowl around his head. Oh, T-bones him again. He's chasing him down. Who's he focusing on? Oh, smashes him again. If you double tap the headbutt button, or the, the top button, you'll do a headbutt. Yes, you don't want to be biting armor or spiked areas. It hurts you. You got to get them in the... And you can, you can eat the people, and that'll give you health back. Oh, T-bones him again. Getting some health. Oh, he needs health bad. Didn't get to eat those guys. And those guys respawn. Oh! Drops him with a spear. Oh, gets him. Got him. Gets him in the corner. Oh, he just needs to flank him. And get his bite on. Oh, can he get him? He can't run him down.
Gets him. Lava being, if you hold the top button, you can run. It's a little... It is weird. It's... It's... The first time I had played this, I didn't get it. The second time I played it, it was like, oh, okay, I got it now. It's a, a balance of using the roars and the tail whips and biting and, yeah, those raptors jump on your back. You got a tail whip to get them off. <clears throat> Amazing artwork in this game. Some really cool boss fights. There are car there's dinosaurs like this that you got to chase. You want me to check that? Let me see it. Let me see it. No, it's fine. It's fine there. It's fine there. You got to hold, press and hold. It's uh, a finicky button. It doesn't. It's not an instantaneous. Like if you let let off and you got to really get it going. He's out in the water. These are. They look kind of like a uh, crocodile. I forget the names of them. I didn't see the name of them. Again, that food is running low. He does, uses one of his roars to kind of fend him off. He's starving. Bubble Blast was saying, cool how your T-Rex shows bloody damage. It is, everything about this game is so well done. The people who played it, if you go online and search for Savage Quest, your Monday mystery game, released from Interactive Light back in 1998. There's people that talk about this game. And it just kind of like came out and disappeared almost instantly. And it is revered and loved by the people who know it. And it's been on, on our list for quite a while. I know uh, Arcade Heroes had done a couple of uh, write-ups on it. There was... This is the most up-to-date version. There's two. This is 2.1. There's a one-point-something version that's out there, but this is the one that is most up-to-date. Hater Shack asking, was this on the PS1 by any chance or no? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe you're thinking uh, Dino Crisis. Getting attacked from all sides. <clears throat> He's holding on to that one. The Baryonics chewing them up. They take damage. Got a Velociraptor on his back. If he goes with a 360, he'll do the tail whip. Spins him off. Get it is a 33-inch CRT in this one. It is massive. This is a big, big, big cabinet. It is about a foot and a half depth-wise, deeper than Darius Burst DX. It is a little bit taller than Darius Burst DX. It fortunately doesn't have the, uh, the width of Darius Burst DX. This was one, you know, Sam. if Sam Gates had to lug this down from productions, oh, I would have heard about it all day long. I would have heard about it for the month. But we'll see where, uh, when we do our big arcade rearrange, which is coming up, where is this going? I don't know. See, when I'm left alone for too long, I start thinking crazy thoughts. Like, Hey, the arcade is packed. Oh, you know what? 
we should bring in some huge games because that'll help things. And it doesn't. But I could not resist putting up Savage Quest for your Monday mystery game released from Interactive Light back in 1998. I am loving this cabinet. It is so... The artwork... Again, tomorrow... Uh, tonight on Twitter, I'm going to be posting ca pictures of this cabinet and on Instagram. So make sure... Pete, can you post up our Twitter and our Instagram? Make sure... You check that out. We are watching GGA Je Jeremiah as he plays today's Monday Mystery Game. Oh! The boss. This is uh, stage three. He's got... Or is this stage two? This could be still stage two. He keeps jumping in the water. Oh, tail swipe! Jeremiah's going back him a tail swipe of his own. He gives him the roar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The water, the current is pushing you. Uh-oh. And the current's got him. They're both going over. Uh-oh. Well, then we'll just call that stage complete. There's a timeout on stage two. They made their way to the lo lo waterfall. Charles, this game doesn't just, it is amazing and fun to play. It is so good. I think we're going to see a lot of interesting things with this game from the high score community. There's so many people from like 2005 posting on internet groups. Uh, saying that they couldn't wait to see uh, they were they've been looking for this game and that was only a few years after it came out now it's been years and years and decades it's 22 years old and here it is at the galloping ghost arcade as our 764th game why now why 764 no reason just wanted to get you show you something that uh, should get you excited this is something there's no other Pete, you want to make sure on that on arcade there's no other arcades out there that that have this charles saying so in other words you caught another sasquatch yes sasquatch acquired oh there is one on arcade who has it game world in boise idaho has one that is amazing Shoutouts to Game World in Boise, Idaho for having such a rarity. We're going to have to verify that, though. But not many of these out there. And the people that know this game absolutely love it. F. Kirsch, amazing game. Thank you so much. UK Sega 16-bit saying, when can we expect the Terminator 2 announcement? Pretty soon, for those that have followed us, we've been talking a little bit. We've been hanging out with Jack Hager, one of the guys, not right now, because we're not supposed to be doing that, but Jack Hager was out here before all the craziness, and we've got some Terminator 2 stuff in the works. We've got some Revolution X stuff in the works. So some cool things coming up for sure. The sound in this game, so good. There's a monster subwoofer in it, so you feel when they're roaring, you feel it. Oh. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Jeremiah. Drops him. Arena finished. Jeremiah switching hands. <laughs> <laughs> that guy trying to get away from a T-Rex didn't work out so well for him. What's that? You cannot fall off the cliff. 
Again, you could. Oh, he's got him in his mouth. Is he going to throw him? I've not seen him. Uh, GGA Jeremiah, if you push the top button, you do a headbutt. And again, if. So this is so cool. This bridge cross scene. See the pterodactyls flying around. Just great use of camel work for 1998. He's pretty high up there. Uh-oh, these guys are tough. They are covered in spikes. And you d and they do tail swipes. Don't bite the armor. You also have a headbutt. If you put hit the top button twice, he'll do a headbutt. Uh-oh. Oh, he had just done the headbutt. The Polycanthius. The Polycanthius. Not Paul who? Oh, this game. Oh, the head. Now he's exposed the delicious underbelly. <laughs> Headbutt into. Everybody's on the move now. Not that guy. That guy ain't walking around. Missing his legs now. Puts him down. What was that, Pete? The Utah Raptor. Lava being asked if arcade prototypes exist of the initial game that would eventually become Revolution X. Who knows? So maybe somebody like Jack Hager would know that. George Petro. Somebody like that. File ID saying, but the T-Rex and uh, Utah Raptors are supposed to be friends. Not in Savage Quest. Not on this Monday. It is such a crazy cabinet for a single-player game. They wanted to give you an experience, something dinosaur big. Oh, that health just going down, fighting two at once. These guys are tough. Great animation. the tail just reached out and got him in the tail using that tail swipe roaring uh, show who's who's in charge roaring again does no damage it's such a tough game Get 
against him. Chopping away. Stage three. Five stages in the game. Savage Quest, your Monday mystery game. Rehab submarine. This would be have been a dollar a play easily. Oh, absolutely. You know, let me look at the front. Maybe it has a uh, coin sticker on there. Nope, no coin sticker to say how much. Throwing spears at him. Jeremiah's not going to take kindly to that. No, he does not. Oh. <laughs> Arena finished. Good job. Dinosaurs were all about the accolades. The Kent Rosaurus. Again, headbutts to knock him over, and then that'll ex oh. Oh, had him in the infinite. Tail swipes, clears some space. Oh, that little guy T-boned him. Hurt him that hard. He's showing him. He won't be doing that again. Flips him over. He's hurting himself. Got to flank him. He's just standing there doing massive damage. You got to get a little more space, tail whip, and then headbutt. Is he going to eat the... Chew that guy up? Got to go for the headbutt. The Kent Rosaurus is uh, walking backwards to get those tail spikes at him. Oh. Got to use that headbutt on the side and then. I guess he got him. He just instantaneously became in extinct for no reason. Hurt him. <laughs> Hitter Shack. Even this this game have has typical names and then ends with Saurus. Ed Horse, thank you for joining us. Blossom, thank you for being here. Unfortunately, there is audio in the game. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a direct line on it today. It was causing a big hum. So uh, we will work on that. But your Monday mystery game, number 764, is Savage Quest. Outrageously rare. The Styractosaurus.
They're like Triceratops, except they have more horns and a bigger armored cowl on their head. Jeremiah running circles around him. Dodge. Oh, t oh, 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 brutal. Oh, these two guys are mean business. Oh, no. <laughs> he ran from downtown. What? And then. Yeah, you got to get rid of that guy. That guy would have cost you a buck back in the day. Not many dinosaur games out there. Primal Rage, Primal Rage 2, Dino Rex, a super obscure Taito game. Pete calling that one out. You guys want to hear some of the sounds? All right, we can do that. Of course we can do that. Wait, I got to take a break from audio sounds. Look at this boss. There's a guy riding. He's got a Gatling spear gun on this thing that rotates, that just shoots out high damage spears. And he's, and, and, and he's covered in armor. I don't know if this is, this doesn't seem uh, period accurate. I don't think. And the bladed armored tail on it. What What would you even do here? And a brontosaurus looking thing getting up on its hind legs, walking around, and they still throw out a couple of velociraptors for you to deal with. It's like, come on. Oh, I got his underbelly. His... The delicious underbelly. Up, when he's, <laughs> when he, what did you do? I ate his stomach. When he stood up. Uh oh. That was, that's uh, one of the first stormtroopers shooting that spear Gatling gun. What is that guy thinking? He's terrible. Yeah, Jeremiah saying he might not be terrible as a boss as he feeds another dollar into the machine. Oh, hit twice. He's got him on the ropes, though. One more bite might do it. He gets him. I would pull that guy out of that cage. Be like, what are you doing? Stage four complete. Last level, Last level five levels in the game. Then you should do a single credit playthrough for a score. You've got quite the streak. First first ever person to 1cc the game on Monday Mystery. And then I think this is the longest streak we have ever seen. Uncontested five-win streak for the Monday Mystery game. Never seen that before. And never will again. <laughs>
Their vision is based on movement. I can't do anything. 70 big points so far. <laughs> you got to, again, the headbutt. Knock him over. It's, it's it's more of a press press. There you go. Rehab submarine saying my seven year old is super hyped about this. I can't believe it wasn't more popular. So it would have been if they were able to produce more of these. I can only guess at what the cost of this machine would have been for an indie company to invest so much money in the development of this cabinet proprietary hardware and it's um visually very impressive for 98 some cool mechanics great presentation just too big a project for too small a team dr cool milk saying can't wait to give this one a try next time i visit starting online saying uh feels like jurassic park a bit a bit no noir saying the sound is quite awesome oh it is I, I really wish we could add the sound direct captured for you, um, but wait till you hear it in person. Final ID saying this is all too much for me. I'll come back soon. Starting online, uh, there are arcade games of Jurassic Park by Sega. They are rail shooters. Slang saying, uh, one time I visited the arcade, you gave me a free Mountain Dew because the line to get in was so long. That was awesome. Can't wait to come back. Thank you, man. We try. It's, it's how we are here. <laughs> the Real Hammer, Billy Lee asking, Doc, what's the story behind finding this game? So we had kept an eye out for it. Just recently, um... Ta was talking with um, a super collector, Zyla Duvall, who ran Hyperspace out in Colorado. She actually worked on this game. And we were talking about rare games at the time. I didn't know she had worked on it. Uh, she told me that there, uh, it was one I actually mentioned. I'm like, have you ever seen one of these? And she was like, oh, I, I, I worked on that. And I saw one on Craigslist not too long ago. Fatality. So, that really ramped and amped up slang. Thank you so much for the subscription. Very awesome of you. Very much appreciated. Todd had subscribed earlier. Very awesome. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, thank you, slang. We do this every Monday. Monday mystery. New arcade game going on, on the arcade floor. Hold on, you got to hear this. He's found Karn. Now he's got to fight for his eggs. So, there's been a couple of people that have really pushed me to track this game down. And we've looked. We've looked and looked and looked and looked. And no, there's just none out there. We heard of one being on Craigslist, a converted empty cabinet with no artwork. And seeing this artwork, this is such an amazing, beautiful presentation. Got to have the artwork for it. Had we found the empty, it would have been nearly impossible to find the hardware because there's people online that have been looking for literally decades. But then it's just everything lined up. One popped up on Facebook out in Wisconsin. And it was like, oh, yeah, well, we're, it's ours. We're going to get it. I was surprised. I didn't... I, <sighs> It was on uh, a site that on just some of the Facebook marketplace and uh, just some of the sites that are known to sell games. Nobody jumped on it. And it was a little bit old by the time I saw it. And I was like, oh, I hope this guy gets in touch because. Still sometimes being used. Whoa, that guy is big. Still 
fatality. So it just popped up, and nobody else jumped on it. We were able to pick it up. Like, as soon as I saw it, we jumped on it. So we asked our good friend Jeremy Fox of Prince Arcades to drive out and grab it for us. He picked it up out in uh, Wisconsin, drove it back, brought it here into the arcade, did some uh, playthrough testing on it, and just instantly fell in love with the game. What an amazing game on every level. F. Kirsch, thank you so much for the subscription. So awesome of you. Very, very cool. Very much appreciated. Thank you, everybody that has uh, subscribed today. You guys are just amazing. Again, every Monday at 5 p.m. Central, we put a new game on the Galloping Ghost Arcade floor. This is our 764th game. 765 going up next Monday. Don't forget also, if you're new to the stream, if you haven't heard, we, are, we do streams every single day since all this craziness has happened and everybody's locked in place. We're streaming from the arcade. Usually just walk arounds, just showing off cabinets and artwork and letting everybody know about all the repairs and stuff. That Karn guy, what's up with that guy? Is he an alien from the future? He's got lightning rays and stuff. Where's the third one? There he is. Where's he going? Okay. Uh-oh. Sequel. GGA Jeremiah completing level five. Look, let's look at this team designed and developed by Angel Studios. This is one of those games. They put so much effort into this. Look at this staff. Jeff Hayes, Josh Needleman. It's quite the staff going on there. They're, um, Very cool, very cool. Let's see. Well, yeah, we're going to do a real play now for uh, score. But that is Savage Quest. What did you think? Very hard. It's a hard game, right? Yeah. I believe there's the guy that, the one guy that's like really into it online who has an earlier version and this version, 2.1. This was not a 1cc. He, uh, he was continuing. Um, I think the guy who has one that is all about it, he's talked about it, doing main backups and everything. I believe he was getting to the third or fourth stage, so... Noir asking, do we have long sleeve galloping ghost tees? Uh, we will soon. I believe we've got hoodies online right now at our galloping ghost reproductions page. Maybe we can get Pete to put up a link to that.
For those just joining us, today's Monday Mystery Game is Savage Quest, released by Interactive Light back in 1998. Ours is an original dedicated cabinet in phenomenal, in phenomenal condition. Fat Chris, we have finally taken care of that. Not sure what happened to the other one, but that should be in your possession very, very soon. The tail whip. Not many games where you get to actually control the dinosaur. I, re I remember on the Genesis version of Jurassic Park, you could control the Velociraptor. And you couldn't on the Super Nintendo one, but you could on the Genesis one. And everybody was just losing their minds over playing as the Raptor. Charles saying, make some Sinistar patches. We might be doing that. We had some Sinistar t-shirts. We are working with the original artist that, crea that created Sinistar, Jack Hager. And we have the original painting. He let us scan in. And uh, we did some posters that he had signed and uh, some uh, original prints. And we've got some T-shirts in the works with Jack. So super excited for those. So stay tuned for those. If you're a fan of Sinistar, yeah, check out, uh, check out the stuff on uh, Galloping Ghost Reproductions. On the move. Those guys, fearless. <laughs> Pentaceratops. Ropa dopes him. Oh, no. He's on the move. These guys throwing sticks. Oh, <laughs> I ain't going to be throwing nothing. Doesn't have arms to throw anything anymore. Spear is right in his tail. That's got to not feel good. Oh, T-Bone. You might as well call him T-Bone. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, puts him down. Oh. Dodges him. He's not got a lot of. Uh oh. He's got. Oh no. One, 14,386. Are you going to go do another? One more. One more. Paul H. asking, what system is this on? So the arcade hardware is its own proprietary PC hardware. There's so many, uh, like, there's a dongle to it. There is uh, the video. I've heard the video card is specific. The I.O. board is, it looks at the serialized I.O. board. So it is just not something you can just recreate. Hitman, thank you for joining us. Pete Gores joining us. Former Gamer of the Year here at Galloping Ghost Arcade. For those just joining us, your Monday Mystery Game is Savage Quest. Released from Interactive Light back in 1998. 
Mill Noir is saying it would be amazing if you guys somehow printed shirts based on the arcades you have. I know it's a licensing issue, but it would be amazing. We've talked about doing a uh, shirt of the month club. Maybe we will start getting into that a little bit more. Pete Hahn, former game of the year, Pete Hahn wants a Super Contra shirt. We do have Galloping Ghost Reproductions, so I'm sure we could do something. Hater Shack saying survivability of this game would be crucial to beat. Oh, absolutely. The controls take a little bit to get acclimated to. You gotta, there's not a ton, but it is a very specific press to get that headbutt and the run and the bite and hold. All you saying you need to adopt a T-Rex arm position to get the full experience. Pete, do we have a list of the people that uh, subscribe to the uh, Twitch channel today? C can you post a, a list of that on uh, the stream? Really want to thank everybody that subscribed. Todd Pepin. Huge thanks to Todd, Rehab Submarine, Wilder Dude, Slang, and F. Kirsch. Thank you guys so much for the subscriptions today. Very much appreciated. Oh, GG, Jeremiah needs one more bite to drop this guy. He's chasing after him. He's starving, too. He's got all sorts of problems. He's got to just get him. A little nip right there. He gets him. <laughs> Jeremiah pumping his fist. Got him. got him. Big point bonus here. 756 big points. <laughs> That's not really that much. Not much health. Only 50 health. Up to 15,777 points. Paul H. asking, how many of these cabinets exist? So, according to Orcade, there is one arcade that has one out in Idaho? Idaho. Um, on KLOV, there's a guy that has one board set and a cabinet. But uh, not a lot of them out there. There were rumors of there only being 50 made. There's somebody else. I think there was somebody that threw out a number of 200. But I think there was more uh, people saying there was like 50. The pe there, They were out there, though. There's definitely a player base that is familiar with this game. They remember it from the arcades back in uh, 98, 99 when it was coming out. And just uh, the, everybody that played it just absolutely loved it.
Milton Noir saying, "Wow, poor dinosaur, all wounded." Yo, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it is a, uh, it's a bit gory. You're you're taking that damage. You're seeing it. You're getting chewed up and cut up and beat up and. Oh, we can get some health back there. Oh, no. He's still probably over there. Oh, no, no, no. Not like this. 20,267. Amazing score. Mil Noir saying, I can't wait to see all the games in the vault. There's over 200 games in the vault right now. Cannot, yeah, I agree. I cannot, we can't wait to get those games on the arcade floor. Next expansion is coming up. That's already filling up quick. We've already got games over there. Just the floor can't contain it all. <laughs> yeah, they were really, you can see up here in the corner, Jeremiah just pointed this out. Animated violence. Underneath, there's a, a sticker that says strong, and they're like, that's not bringing the kids into the machine. Let's just put one of them mild stickers up there. They've seen this stuff before. Starting online saying it's the first time I see it. So there you have it. Um, Zverse Kids saying, uh, is there a console port of this? I do not believe so. I think this only made it out in the arcade. I've not ever heard of it having any kind of console port. Uh, the arcade is not dumped on the MAME, so there's no way to emulate it. Uh, there's an arcade supposedly in Idaho that has it, so we will check more into that, but we definitely have it here at the Galloping Ghost Arcade. It is... Your 764th game here at the arcade. Um, Rehab Submarine saying thank you so much for the Monday Mystery. This is going to be uh, great to play. We cannot wait to have everybody out here playing this. Uh, we will be posting pictures tonight on Twitter and Instagram of it. Make sure you check it out. I cannot wait to show off this cabinet. I was so excited for everybody to uh, get this one and can't wait for us to be back open to the public to allow everybody in to play it. You guys got so many games to catch up on. Uh, 1941 Counterattack, Mr. Driller G, um, Moon Cresta, Jackie Chan the Kung Fu Master, Sexy Parodius, and now Savage Quest. Join us next Monday. We're going to be putting up another Monday mystery game, number 765. I have no idea what it's going to be yet, but we'll find something awesome. We're certainly not uh, backing down with all this crazy stuff going on. We were just going to continue to give you crazy rare games from wherever we get them, Japan and all over the U.S., and we're going to keep bringing them back in. So thank you all so much for joining us. Again, stay tuned to our Twitter account as we've been doing our live streams every single day. We make an announcement on there, usually around 5 p.m., we go live on Facebook Live and do walk rounds and stuff. We've got more live stream Twitch stuff coming up with uh, live playthroughs of um, probably Danielle playing Flicky. That's be going to be coming up soon. So uh, thank you, everybody. Very fun Monday mystery. Thank you to former Game of the Year Pete Hahn and GGA Jeremiah for uh, being here and, as, as always, making Monday mystery happen. Again, huge thanks to Jeremy Fox of Prince Arcades out in Bolingbrook for lugging this beast of a cabinet back from wisconsin for us and um again thank everybody the community behind this place is absolutely amazing thank you fat chris mill noir kingdom dr cool milk paul h uh charles hater shack see you all next week thank you all so much uh we will be back next monday 765 we'll be online tomorrow with the repeat on facebook and then probably something else so Thank you, everybody. This is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade. Stay safe. We hope to see you around the arcade soon. Thanks a lot, everybody.